<laughs> I hope you have a good night. Stay safe. Come to Screen Fest 2024. Open selected dates for October. Barbara's going to see you. Barbara's going to kiss you. Barbara's going to give you a hug. Barbara's going to stab you. And also, have a great night, guys. Mwah! Good evening, guys, and welcome back to the channel. And if you can't tell, we're actually here at Screen Fest. Now, firstly, thank you very much to the park for inviting us down. As part of the RIP, you obviously get fast track into the park. Fast track unlimited around all of the mazes and you get food and drinks vouchers through the night but it's absolutely rammed here tonight. We broke down on the way here so we are delayed so we're going to rush around and get as many of those mazes in as possible. Camera with me. <laughs> Dylan, I've got a crutch this year. Do you want to break him a new hip? Whoa, whoa. Well, I'm breaking your new yeah, hip. You yeah. too, <laughs> I miss your bats all year. Oh, no, I've missed you guys. I am. I'm so happy you're back again. Are you excited? We are excited. We almost weren't back. We we lost a windscreen wiper on the way down. You lost a windscreen wiper. just freaking wiper. flew off the car on the Bloody middle of the motorway. Yeah. Well, we can use that tool later where you can. Oh, certainly we can. Yeah, that can go somewhere. That can. It'll be hard to uh, wrap around, but we'll get there somewhere. Oh, I don't mind something wrapping around, you know what I mean? I know this. <laughs> Have you, have you, what, what have you gone through yet? We have literally just yeah. arrived, so... Oh, I love it when you come late. Exactly, oh, me too. Last <laughs> on don't you? He'd do well, he's, we're going to have to be quick tonight to get oh, through oh, it properly. You, you've got to get your stammering in now, babes. <laughs> so, are you yes. going to hit first? Uh, we're going to hit Insomnia and Freak Out on top, yeah. and then this side afterwards. And you're going to keep Alcatraz the last? Possibly. I might go through it early because Lucy's a bit uh, hesitant. Lucy, why are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> why are you scared, Lucy? Well, I heard there's a bit of separation going on in there. <laughs> What's the problem with that bit of separation? To, to, I'm going to say, if Babs is decent tonight, <laughs> there'll be a separation later. You know, I might even be in there, you know. I might be on the other end for you there, Treacle. <laughs> you can be on any end you want. <laughs> and I do like to touch, so get to Alcatraz and you get to be touched, don't you? Oh, I'm straight there then. <laughs> Chocolate fingers, baby. I'll see you later. Again, it's a place with fantastic character interaction. That's a really good facade, guys. And how are you? I'm not too bad, I'm good. I'm glad to be back. You do? Oh, I'm glad to be back. Oh. You're just as hands on as Babs, you yeah. <laughs> Just as hands on as Babs? Just oh, as hands on two as Babs. and one of you. Oh, we'll have you on both ends, mate. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I've, already, I've already been offered you an do, end. You know. Well, I'm going to go for you later. Because sure the thing will. is, I'm a lot better when I get you from behind or when someone's recording. I like the shout in their face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get you later. <laughs> I've never been this close without a kiss. <laughs> Come on then, give him a kiss, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we've just done Insomnia and that has got to be my favourite maze at this park and one of my favourite mazes in the country. It is an incredible maze, you're stepping into a child's nightmare and each scene follows you through the nightmare till the end. The only problem was the batching wasn't too great so we did end up with a large, large group towards the end but despite that, still one of my favourite mazes. I'd love to do like a proper, proper VIP experience where it's just you and you alone in there. We've just come out of Freak Outs on tour and that was pretty incredible. Uh, for a clown maze, it's got minimal theming, just what you'd expect from a clown maze. Neon sort of paint on the wall, words all over, um, latex, balloons and stuff. But it was loaded with actors. There must have been 20, 30 actors in there and they were all sinister, creepy as hell clowns. Some of them almost slightly sexual. <laughs> Sorry about that wife. Um, but yeah. Really, really enjoyed that. A little bit out of breath from trying to run away from the seven foot five clown at the end. But really good. We've just <laughs> so we've just come out of Hillbilly Joe's Zombie Zoo. That was fantastic. I don't, I don't know if they've heavily changed it since last year. I don't remember it being that good. But tons of character interactions. I was scared shitless at times. They got some fantastic jump scares in there and the theming and smell pods and stuff all the way around it were really, really good. Now, as I say, I don't know if it's changed much from last year. Uh, my memory's fading a little, but that were incredible this time round. And despite how incredibly busy it is here today, 
we actually got a run through essentially just me and Lucy on his own. But one of the things I like about this maze as well is just on the outside of it, there's a little shed where the actors and some of the people going through it are actually here going through the edge, but he likes his cousin. I'm feeling the tension. I know I am. <laughs> oh, lovely. I wish I could just reach out to you through this wall. I might cut. do undescribable <laughs> things with you. I'll see you in there in 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right guys, so as the wife behind me has chicken out a little bit, I've got to go into the brand new maze, Elkatraz, all by myself. Now that shouldn't make a difference because this maze does say that you will be separated from people. It's supposed to be the most intense maze that they've ever done. And I'm gonna go through it by myself. So I shall see you on the other side. I've just come out of Helcatraz and that is a brilliant new maze. Really, really loved it. Now, I don't think it's half as intense as they make it out to be. It does talk about a lot of isolation and I won't give away too much, but the isolation isn't overwhelming. There's a bit of it at the start and you do go through the maze on your own, but not necessarily on your own. There's, you can see the other people in there, but it's, extremely highly themed sets really good atmosphere in there filled with actors they do touch you but it's not overly forceful touching it's fingers through hair sort of grabbing over the back of the head and directing you in certain locations um definitely not overwhelming i, I didn't feel anxious once in there but it is a fantastic new maze it's probably on par with insomnia now for what is the best maze here and it was that good that I'm trying to convince Lucy to come back through with me because genuinely I don't think anyone should have a fear of the maze. It is the most hands-on maze here, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's the most intense maze here, but still phenomenal. And there's a whole range of fairground rides. Something a bit different to do when you're here, all again are a bit of an upcharge on top of what you pay for entry. I've just managed to convince Lucy to go into Helcatraz. Uh, what do you think? Did you enjoy it? It was fantastic. Is it as it bad was. as people are making out? No, but it depends what scares you. Yeah, it, you're not as isolated as they make it seem, are you? No, no. But you are on your own whilst not being isolated. It's a difficult one to, to comprehend till you do it, but it is a fantastic maze. Really highly themed, isn't it? I didn't look. <laughs> she ran away out so quickly. I was too, I was too busy being grabbed and the air being pulled. And, yeah, yeah. But they're very hands on, they're very touchy, but not in a, a very aggressive way. So it's not too an intense, it's just very, very fun. Now, as part of our ticket, we've actually got the zombie paint mauling as well. So we're just in time to make that, and we're going to do that now. Hepatitis? From yeah, what? Yeah, if you kiss the foot, you get hepatitis. Oh, well then. You got to see it, you get the deal later. Oh, yes. Bye. Oh, hello. <laughs> Thanks for coming. You're very welcome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> only, only, only fans, that is. Only Babs. Only Babs, only fans. <laughs> have you had a good night, though? We've had a fantastic uh, night. Favourite maze? Alcatraz. What, no, you should have said Barbara, I am the favourite maze around here. Once you well, go with me, you can't escape. It's, well, it's not really a maze, is it? There's one path forward with you and we know what it is. 
Are you sure about that? <laughs> well, we'll find out maybe, tonight. Maybe two, three puffs. <laughs> I don't mind. Two in a pink one is stick, you know what I mean? Hooray! Exactly. Hooray, <laughs> I hope you have a good night. Stay safe. Come to Screen Fest 2024. Open selected dates for October. Barbara's going to see you. Barbara's going to kiss you. Barbara's going to give you a hug. Barbara's going to stab you. And also, have a great night, guys. Mwah! I'll take my £10 later. Yes, you will. <laughs> there we go, Trevor. Thank you for no, a great night, guys. Take care. Bye. See you, next year. you certainly will. Right, guys, just like my first ever vlog, we're doing a back in the car review because it's bloody freezing out there. It's like icicles, and we just want to get back to the hotel and get warm. But that's it for Screamfest 2024. Before anything, thank you very much to Shannon for inviting us down and everyone at the park. Um, they did provide us tonight with the RIP tickets, incredible set of tickets, fast track unlimited through all of the mazes, uh, fast track entry into the park, you get food vouchers, you get drinks vouchers, you get a special little lanyard, it really is worth its weight in gold. Going round there tonight, it was an incredibly busy night, some of the queues were absolutely huge, so I highly recommend investing in one of the fast track tickets at minimum, uh, but the RIP ticket seemed great value for money as well. And the mazes were absolutely spot on this year. So on the weaker side of the mazes, you have Creed Farm. Now, I'm not saying that it's a bad maze because it's weak. It's just out of all of the mazes that are there, it is the weakest. So it's a hillbilly type maze. You're walking through a cornfield. There's lots of scarecrows. Um, but in terms of theming and stuff, it lacks a little. Uh, but very good scares, a very intense ending, um, which can be a little bit slippery in the mud. But it was very good. Hillbilly Joe's Zombie Zoo, it's a very good maze, highly themed, lots of actors, great use of smell pods, um, and that is a, a firm favourite here. Um, Freak Show's on tour, that's probably on the weaker side. It's a very good clown maze, there's lots of different things to see in there. We had a very fun time in there, but in terms of going up against some of the others that they've got here now, I think it is on the weaker side. And if I were going to choose two to get rid of, it would be Creed Farm and Freak Show on tour because they're not up to the standard of the rest of the ones that are here. But the rest are absolutely fantastic. Um, Insomnia is still one of my favourite mazes in the country. Going into that childlike nightmare, that eerie, especially if you're a parent, that eerie child's nightmare, this um, crackerjack character that's following this child through the nightmare, and as it delves down into almost a Nightmare on Elm Street type vibe, it's creepy and it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. The brand new maze for this year as well. That is fantastic. It's not as intense as it's made out to be, so don't worry if you're going to come down. I eventually got Lucy in there and she absolutely loved it. It was a fantastic maze. It's the only one in here that's very hands-on and very touchy. Um, but it's a, a good touchy, which I'm not sure if that sounds right or not, but it's a good touchy. Uh, but in terms of Scream Fest this year, the wandering characters that are around, Babs and I don't even know what the guy's name is, but he likes to steal hats. Um, he's very in your face. He's really good at what he does. But the wandering characters here are very good as well. You've seen some of the interactions tonight. And the whole park is made up nicely themed as well. Would I come down to Screamfest? Certainly would. Um, we broke down, we could have very well gone home. We've come down, we've thoroughly enjoyed it. Even if we were paying in full, we would have come down anyway because it is a brilliant event. It's been great. Now, if you enjoyed tonight's vlog, please, by all means, smash the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've been to Screenfest already or if you plan to come this scare season. And then if you want to follow us for the rest of the vlogs that we've got, we've got plenty that we've done already. We've got Scarefest tomorrow and we've got a few more uh, events coming up over the next few weeks. Then please smash the subscribe button too. It will be very much appreciated. And until then, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.